Yo, what's up guys? Daniel from Black Cherry Agency here. Now, we've been hearing a lot from you guys that you're having trouble with closing girls on the phone. You've been having a lot of objections from these girls. So I wanna go over objection handling and what are the most common objections that girls will have when you're trying to sign them to your OnlyFans agency. Now, before I dive into this video, I wanna say that we are doing a giveaway right now for a one hour consulting call where we will basically just go over what you got going on in your agency and how to take you to the next level. All you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed right now to this channel, turn the bell notification on as well, and all you got to do is leave a comment down below. It can be about anything. You can ask a question. We read the comments. We respond to the comments. So you can also get value out of that as well. So when handling objections, you're going to want to uh, preemptively handle these objections. So what I do to preemptively handle objections is I might just throw them out there in the beginning. So I might ask a question like, hey, uh, what made you interested in this business model or how did you find out about this business model or what caught your attention right i hear her out and I, I let her say what's on her mind and then i might say well why haven't you got started up until now and then she gives me what objections she might have on the surface level what i do is i quickly handle those that she gave me whatever she says and then i will run through like the five main ones right so i'll be like you know, some girls, um, they don't realize that you can actually geo block locations and you won't be able to be seen by your friends and family. Right. Um, and that's going to also take care of anything that you have issues with in the possible future with, you know, future career paths. If you want to switch career paths, it's going to be a different alias. It's going to be under a different alias. And so, you know, you would never be able to be found out by a potential, you know, uh, CEO that's hiring you for some stupid company, or whatever, you know what I mean? So like, um, I throw it out there like that just so that they they're like oh okay well I didn't think about that but that would have been an objection right so cuz they're gonna find they're gonna find these objections as they go so it's better that you just handle them before they ever come up because um, you're gonna have people saying oh I need to think about it if you don't give them enough information so basically what I like to think about this is you're talking as if you're implying that you've done this many times before like um, a bunch of girls had their common objections before and you handled all of them, right? Um, another one I might bring up is, you know, some girls think that they need to get their body right. They need to look good. Um, they need to be at their best when they're on camera. But your friends and family, number one, are not going to see it. So there's nobody to impress. And then number two is most guys actually want a girl who's more attainable, who doesn't look fake, plastic, or pimped out and already in the sex industry. Industry, right they want the girl next door the innocent girl that they have a chance with later down the road right so I'll throw that out there and um, there's some other ones that are pretty like they're like main ones basically so the other one would be time and energy so I might say and you know some girls think that this is like it takes so much time and energy to do this business model uh, but the the real truth is that that only is true if you're doing it yourself right if you're doing it yourself you're trying to figure out all the marketing you're gonna run into error after error after error it's gonna take you years to figure this out but if you get with an agency that did all the research all the knowledge or has had success before you and they know exactly how to get around those pitfalls and they've learned from other people's mistakes then you're gonna have no trouble getting started day one and it's actually no time at all so this is what I say about the time I basically say uh, it's the content that you normally take in your everyday life anyways uh, the story picks you know the feed picks um, the the picks you send to the guy you're about to hook up with whatever basically you're getting all that content already for OnlyFans throughout your daily life you might as well just get paid for it right and uh, if no one's going to find out about it, it doesn't take you any extra time. It's just going to be free money if you have an agency, right? There's a no brainer to make. I mean, if you make 20 racks to split 10 racks with somebody and you literally are getting that for free, not investing any time, you have no risk. There's no downside, right? So what you're doing when you're on the phone with her is removing that downside. And this is how I literally talk to girls, guys, like on the phone. I will literally just throw it out there. I ask them to open up first. So it's a dialogue. So they're talking and then 
I say, why haven't you started till, uh, you know, up until now? And then I say, yeah, some girls haven't started till now, or some girls would be really good, but they didn't start because of this, this, and this, or maybe this one girl didn't start, but then once she realized that it wasn't time and energy and it was just free money and no one's going to find out, that's when she started doing 20 grand a month with us. And, you know, we split it 50, 50, but she doesn't have to do any work. Basically nothing changed in her life and nobody knows literally nobody knows it's under a different alias it's geo blocked from her location and it's just basically free money that she's making it's like why would you not do it so right there i removed all the downside and it looks like it implies that i've done this before and uh other girls in the past have moved forward because they realized there was no downside so that's social proof and what you got to understand about girls guys is they are social creatures social proof works very well on girls when girls see a guy with other girls on his arm they want that guy because it removes the time and energy they have to make to make their own decision where they could be wrong if other girls have chose this guy then clearly he's competent clearly he has some value and clearly they should go with him right and so this is what you want to utilize when talking to girls is bring up other girls and get rid of objections quick 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 in the beginning front load that and take off all of the downside in the very beginning now another thing that i also mention is taxes so i'll say you know some girls have never started an entrepreneurial journey before right at all so they don't know what's what's up with the taxes they don't know what's up with the laws and stuff like that and or the contracts and everything on our end is taken care of we we uh we cross our t's we dot our i's everything's done under contract everything is legal everything's taken care of and when it, when it comes to the taxes there's two options we could get you a private trust set up that handles your taxes or we have a an awesome cpa guy he's going to handle all your books for you it's just a little bit of a you know like it's like 300 bucks basically at the end of the year like you're going to have thousands and thousands and thousands right so it's just like a little dollar here and there and you're basically going to have all that taken care of he's going to write off as all expenses and make it so you don't have to pay the irs almost anything unless they want to go the um the trust route i generally just tell them that we, we handle the taxes and then i just usually make them a private trust and set it up um like an ecclesiastical private trust so they don't have to um pay any taxes at the end of the year but if some girl's like oh well i don't know about that trust thing and it becomes like an issue or there's confusion i'll just be like oh don't worry about it um we have a cpa that handles everything like we're basically um we can open you up an llc and take care of it that way or you could do it as a sole proprietor don't worry the cpa is going to take care of all of it for you don't worry i mean we've been this we've been down this road many many times it's not a problem it's it's not one of those bridges oh we'll, we'll get you know we'll get over that bridge when we get to it we'll figure it out as it comes no we've done this many times we know exactly what to do you're in good hands relax we got you that's the vibe that's the energy you want to imply that you've done this before and this implies that you are the authority okay so i front load and handle objections and i do it quick I do it pretty quick um, and I basically just run through like, oh, okay, here's like the top five reasons why girls sometimes don't start and just run through them so that she gets it out of her head. And then I start telling stories about basically girls not spending any time or energy and they're just making a bunch of money and it's coming in super easy and it's recurring and it's building up every month and how some of them go viral and then some of them have a bigger career or maybe some of them wanted to stop it going viral but they still were making money, you know, whatever. You can basically just figure out what this girl's blueprint is, what her plan is, what she sees, what her vision is, and then give her the solution. Basically dig into her problem or what she wants her desire and then give her that literally solve that problem and be that solution give her that uh, desire that she's looking for it's as simple as that guys and at the end of the day um yes it just takes practice obviously but you want to have a game plan going in you want to um handle objections early in the front don't wait for her to bring them up all right, you can invite them early, but just understand that uh, in a sales call, the sale is made in the beginning. It's not made at the end, guys. It's made in the beginning. You have to take the frame, control the frame, and really lead the conversation and and handle anything that could possibly go wrong later early in the beginning because if there's confusion at the end they have to think about it really you're just going to make it seem like no this is something that you should move forward with right now it's a no-brainer 
and also I like to use scarcity this is a little like extra bonus tip if you will I like to use scarcity uh, to basically make her feel like oh we have other girls that we're talking to right now and um, you know she's running out of time basically right that's basically all you want to do at the at the end that's it like basically you just be like yeah so um there's only a we only have spots for like three more girls right now with the with the current um workload that we can handle right now because we're a, a boutique agency and we like to we like to really work especially on our one girl we like to go deep we believe in quality over quantity so we only have spots for like two more girls left on the roster so uh at the moment um uh, we're, we're talking to you, and then there's two other girls I have to uh, I have to talk to after you today. But once that's all taken care of, I'll get back to you and I'll let you know what's up. Um, but you're but you're on board, right? Like, there's no more other questions you have, and then they'll be like, no, 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 like like how earliest would you be able to hypothetically get started? Oh, uh, da -da -da, and then they'll they'll start chasing. At that point, like, if you know if everything checks out, it looks like we're a good fit, um, and we were to move forward with you. When could you uh, get started at your earliest convenience you ask that question and guys they will start chasing if they think that someone else is going to steal their spot and also if you are the one that's qualifying them right it's all about the frame all right she's hitting you up but you got to make it seem like you are qualifying her and then if everything checks out on your instagram um what me and bloomy talk about is no dlvs right you don't want her to see something that um makes her think oh you're not professional oh you're not authority um you're not the one whatever you want to maintain the image of absolute authority and if you do that that sales call will close guys and it will close a lot more than you expect a lot of these sales calls close and then we have to turn down the girl because we get a better option okay so with all that being said guys i'm gonna be dropping another sick video um this week i'm coming out with like four banger videos so be on the lookout for that and uh oh once again um we are actually doing a holiday sale for the course right now the course was 297 and it will go back up to 297 after january january 1st it will go back up for right now it is 99 dollars for this limited time don't miss out on that we go over everything from a to z on how to scale your agency to six figures and beyond uh, until further ado, guys, stay on the lookout for those other videos I'm coming out with. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.